Alrighty. So, we've been smoking the ribs so far for a little over an hour. Now, we're going to swap out the wood chips that have burned down to embers and they're done, they're ready to go. And we're going to put in two large chicken breasts that have been marinating in oil as well as salt, pepper, garlic, and paprika. So far the smoker has been holding pretty well at between 225 and 250. Uh, I keep on adjusting it up and down a little bit. Sometimes uh, the temperature outside can actually make a difference. If it's a really warm, muggy day, it's going to hold the temperature a lot hotter than if it was on a cold day when it's going to be fighting for temperature. All right, so now we're going to swap out the wood chips that were in the bottom. Okay, all right. Now, again, I'm using an iron skillet, so make sure you have a good set of gloves on. And what you want to do now is you want to dump out the existing burn through chips into something metal. A metal pot, metal pan, uh, so you can put them in for the time being and, and let them hang out. And, uh, yep. This design of skillets has definitely seen better days. Uh, it's, it's not one of the ones I cook with anymore, obviously, but we use it for our smoking purposes here at the house. Alright, so now, Put this up on top for a second. I'm gonna go over and get my wood chips. I'm gonna put them into the pan. You can hear the smoke already starting up. And we're gonna very carefully put put this heated pan right back in. In fact, uh, so hot that I'm gonna actually use a little bit of a rag over here to help me get this back into. The, uh, into the smoker. Actually, no, I don't think that's going to work. I have to barehand it. This iron skill is so hot, i got to use two gloves to hold on to this thing and get it back into the smoker. And uh, if you think I'm being a wimp, you're more than welcome to come here and try it yourself sometime with one glove. See how you, see how well you do. All right. We got the chips in. They're going to start smoking up. In a minute or so, we'll close it back up. Got it closed up. We're gonna let these chips, these little embers, sit there and die down. I'll probably put some water in there tonight and get rid of them. Now we are going to take the chicken and put the chicken into the smoker. Okay, there we go. Take that glove off. Tray up on top of here for a second, and we are going to put these chicken breasts into the smoker. We're going to put them on the top rack because, like I said earlier, I didn't want any of the sweet rub getting from the ribs onto the chicken. Let's put the second breast in. All right, uh, pull the rack out a little bit. Maybe we want to pour the remaining juice from the marinade on top of the chicken. Don't want it to go to waste so we can avoid it. Even though it's just a little, it will impart some flavor. All right, so that's done. Push this rack in. Now let's take a look at our ribs. They are coming along rather nicely. All right, very, very meaty. Taking on a nice dark color. They're not sticking to the grates because, as I mentioned earlier, we have started using uh, olive oil spray on our racks. Give it a little bit of a turn. Okay. And I think we're good for now. We're going to put these guys back in there. Uh, ribs are going to go for another two hours along with the chicken. The ribs already had one hour on their own in the smoker. Our water pan is still looking good. That's the whole idea is you want to make sure that water pan is nice and full. You need that moisture. Moisture is the key to keeping everything from drying out. The smoke is closed up. Uh, it's going to come back up to temp in a second. We're going to let it go for 225 for the next two hours, and then we should be done. See you in a bit.